between Cusco and the Sacred Valley, there are at least 5,000 monolithic sculpted temples. These ones you can see, such as this one. And all of these large rock outcroppings you can see in the distance show evidence that humans manipulated the stone. To achieve this, they would have had to have had technology far beyond the bronze and obsidian implements that the Inca are said to have. This one is amongst the most obvious. You can clearly see where large chunks of stone were carved out. Whether these flat surfaces were used for ceremonial purposes or whether the stone itself that was removed was taken to Cusco because of the properties of the stone, possibly high in quartz crystal or some other element or mineral that was important for some kind of property that it had. The Hanan Pacha era or age of construction in the Sacred Valley is best described as being stone structures which are monolithic, often in this case the size of an apartment building. They're natural stone which is part of the bedrock itself but protrudes above the surface and quite common in these areas of Hanapacha you find tunnels and also the presence of human carving like this niche. So obviously or maybe these tunnels are completely natural but what's obvious is that they have been used by people probably thousands of years ago with a technology that we still can't explain. Again, such as the carving out of this niche area, possibly for sculptures or something. So Hanan Pacha is where you find one monolithic stone, common, having tunnels and some evidence of human manipulation, such as carved surfaces like this, and flat wall sections, which almost look like giant TV sets, but we haven't been able to find a really good explanation about what the flat surfaces are or were for. This area has been heavily trodden, so it was obviously used by people and for ceremonial purposes, and that term is so misused. It's a ceremonial space. It's a sacred space. Yeah, but what is the function, or what was the function of the ceremonial or sacred space? And beside this tunnel that we just went through is more of an open walkway. And again, this is a good example of Hanan Pacha, where the stone, massive in size, has been manipulated by human hands. And tools, but what kind of tools, when this stone is super hard, high in crystal content, which is very tough to work with. You can't work with uh, this stone with bronze or something, it's ridiculous. And we even have narrow clefts in here. And you see how well trodden it is that it's possible that I could walk through there sideways and destroy my clothes, but I don't plan to do that right now. And then over here, we have the entrance to a tunnel, which is quite large in size. I'll probably try to get in there momentarily. 
and these beautiful sculpted areas. Nature doesn't do this kind of work. This is what human beings do. But who were the human beings and when did they do it? It's this area and these carved out areas are probably about the same time period as that of Tiwanaku. So we're talking between 10 and 15,000 years ago. And of course the archaeological community will say human beings have only been living in complex societies for 6,000, but I think they obviously have to rewrite their books. 